All right, thank you very much and welcome to the Lost World Museum. My name is John Adolfi and we are excited that we are going to be doing this live on Thanksgiving because we have our own parade. Maybe you've had your are watching the parade right now, but we're going to have a parade in front of you, a bunch of geological what some would consider anomalies or evidence that suggests that rock forms quickly. My name is John Adolfi with the Lost World Museum and we ask the important and provocative question where did we come from? Did we come from apes, aliens, or Adam? And before we get going, I have to do one thing. Maybe this is in reverse vision, but if it's not, Chuck Norris. There is no theory of evolution, only a list of animals that Chuck Norris allows to live. Just, just a little bit. Humor me, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, let's get going. Can rock form quickly? And if it can form quickly, what does it suggest? Some would say that it suggests nothing, that it's true that the geological age of the earth is 4.51 billion years old, and that we showed up, us, around two to three million years ago, and that the evolutionary process explains all of life and geology. I'm going to challenge that this morning. I'm going to share some things with you that all I want anyone to do is just compare and contrast to the evolutionary theory. And I'm going to present both of them side by side. And then you ask the question, where did we come from? Apes, aliens, or Adam? Now, the geology of the earth at 4.51 billion years, okay, began. And then we showed up in the form of a proto-RNA approximately 3.5 billion years ago. That is the idea. And through natural selection, positive mutation, environmental pressure, survival of the fittest, unaided, that proto-RNA became us billions of years later. And everything that we see around us sound pretty fantastic? It is. But so is the narrative or story or account that's uh, shared in the book of Genesis that some six to 10,000 years ago, that life was created on this ball of ice and stone and that there was a worldwide flood 4,500 years ago. And through that intense geological short period of time, 371 days, that, and hello to everybody out there, by the way, and um, that it uh, produced all the fossils that we see, the coal, everything that we see today that has to do with alluvial or sedimentary geology. Huh. Both stories are fantastic. Both stories, we weren't there to witness, nor were the religionists, nor were the experts of geology today. Even Moses, who wrote the book of Genesis, wasn't around to see those things happen. What we're asked to believe is that, my book is right over there, that Charles Lyell, the father of geology, is right from his 1830 book, Theory of... Um, hold on, let me grab the book. I wanted you guys to see this. Also, too, so I can get the title right. Charles Lyell's Principles of Geology. This is the 1832 version, and it's a two-volume set. Not that that matters, but he said in here that the Earth is several hundred million years old. And he was the inventor or the, or the, pop, the one who popularized the idea of, of slow changes over time, uniformitarianism. And Charles Darwin uh, platformed, springboarded off of Charles Lyell's ideas. So... In a creation model, there was this brief period of time during the worldwide flood where the geological um, conditions were so intense. We're talking volcanism, volcanoes. We're talking a massive flood that has never been seen since. We're talking heat, pressure, tsunamis, meteor strikes. We're talking a whole host of things happening at the same time. So brief and intense versus long periods of time. Okay, so if we can show that rock can form quickly, at least what it does is it shows or suggests that the creation model is correct. Did I take too big of a leap there? Some think that it is. Case in point, in Karlavi Veri in the Czech Republic, we took this little bear and we asked them to put it under their mineral springs. Now they have 
very, their water is very heavy in minerals. So much so that in the 1800s, they used to drink it thinking that it would give them, uh, give life, uh, life-giving properties to it, to, get, to heal them, to bathe in it and to drink it. So we asked him to put this little bear in there. And this is what came out just a few weeks. Interesting. <clears throat> also in Kalavi Very, I was able to get a hold of this pipe. Maybe some of you have seen it. Now this pipe is iron on the outside, you see? And what's in there is aragonite. It's minerals, same minerals you saw on the bear. It's a calcite kind of thing to it and uh, material, but it's, it's iron looking, meaning that it's, it's, it's more red, more orangish red, dark color. This formed in 80 years, 70 to 80 years. It's approximately three quarters of an inch. 70 to 80 years, a coating of what some could consider stone that took a matter of weeks, okay? What else do we have? This right here is a thousand year old coin from the Song Dynasty in China. This Chinese coin, not this one particular, but a whole bunch of them were on board a, a junk or a ship that sank in the China Sea 800 years ago. Well, recently they went down there to find them and look what they found. They found a whole stack of them with, this looks like cement. Here's another one. It looks like limestone. I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying, though, that it has the same look or consistency of limestone. And is it hard? Sure is. Those are all coins that are, that are 800 to 1,000 years old, but they were, under the, they were on the China Sea for 800 years. This is a geological process, folks. What geological processes were involved in creating limestone? Are they the same as this? Or if not, are they similar enough? Look, there's two theories on limestone. This is a beautiful piece of limestone that we got from the Glen Rose area in uh, the Pluxy River, right on the Pluxy River in Glen Rose last year. This is Cretaceous limestone. It has an assigned age of 66 million years to 145 million years. Okay? But, Here's the problem. They find every once in a while things like this in the limestone. This right here is a footprint that was found in the Paluxy River in 1964 in that exact same 65 to 145 million year old Cretaceous limestone. Even if it wasn't 16 and a half inches, which suggests that it's coming, that the person that put this print in the ground was somewhere between seven to eight feet, which again goes along with the biblical narrative that if this was done during or shortly after the worldwide flood, it says there were giants on the earth in those days. And so here is a human footprint in Cretaceous limestone. Now the history of this is, is that it was sold to a private collector and it was put on display at the 1965 New York World's Fair. After that, it disappeared. But a concrete mold was made of it before they sold it. And this is a first generation, second generation print of the uh, impression of the, uh, or cast of that, uh, of that footprint. What's it doing in 65 to 145 million year old rock? If this is not fabricated, let's just say it isn't, okay? Then it shouldn't be there unless limestone was formed 4,500 years ago and this guy was caught up either before or, excuse me, during or shortly after the worldwide flood. And that's the reason why his footprint has been, you know, frozen in time is what I'm trying to say. All right, what else do we have? 
How about we talk about, oh, I'm going to show you something I haven't shown. We did, by the way, we did two shows, one on Instagram and one on TikTok earlier today. And I have not shown him this. So I'm going to show you guys this because you guys are here. And because YouTube is, can I say this? My preferred platform. Before I show you this. France. This has to do with um, stalactites and stalagmites. Those are those conical shaped, beautiful limestone looking, calcite looking, um, uh, hanging or protruding um, columns that we see in caverns. Howe's Cavern, or excuse me, Howe Cavern, uh, Mammoth Cave, uh, Cal Carlsbad Cavern uh, in California. And so in France, we asked them to take this French Coke bottle, and it is French. We asked them to take it and put it under their calcite bath. They have a cavern where water is, is spilling over much faster, of course, to be fair, than the drip, drip, drip that we see in most of these caverns. Okay. What's really interesting, though, is, is that within five weeks, this is what happened. Five millimeters of calcite formed on the Coke bottle. This is the exact same bottle. Now, does this, does this prove, any of this prove that uh, the biblical narrative, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth? Or does it prove or suggest that Lyle is correct in his assumption of millions and millions of years? Lyle, at the time, would not, would dismiss this. He wouldn't even recognize it. People today will roll their eyes and say, of course this stuff can happen. Of course it can rapidly form. But that doesn't mean that the earth is any younger than what you're suggesting. Fair enough. Fair enough. So our last artifact that we're going to show, oh, by the way, and in that same cave, they take a rubber mold. And this is the impression of that rubber mold. And they let it go underneath their little calcite bath. And as it trickles over that mold, within six months, this is formed. That's pure unadulterated calcite, friends. Same kind of accumulation that you see in the caves. And this took six months from nothing to this. Six months, six weeks, 800 years, 70, 80 years. Do you see that there's a pattern forming here that suggests, I usually use that word suggest because scientists like to use that. I'm not a scientist, but I like to use that terminology. Suggest that the earth is young. All right, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you my, before I do, I want to do one commercial break. For those of you that are, are watching or watch the rebroadcast, I'd like to give you my free report called, is there life, on, excuse me, uh, this is the three top reasons why Noah's Ark must still exist. Now you can't get this report anywhere, except for when we do one of these lives or we make it available. And how you got to do that is go to museumalerts.com. Um, museumalerts.com. That's how you get it. And I'll have the, um, I'll have this in the description. They like to do this on the YouTube videos. Right below, you're going to find this, okay, to be able to get this. And then you'll get our newsletter. What you'll also get is alerted every time we put a piece of content up on YouTube. I love YouTube. I think they have a, a really good alert system, but I don't think it's that. I don't think it's, it's great. Um, this way you'll get emailed every time I put up a new piece of content. If you like that type of idea, then this is for you. Okay. Last but not least, and I've been saving this for last. I'm glad you're still here. I went and did a little research. I've never researched geodes before, but I wanted to find out how long does it take to form a geode from the evolutionary or modern geological uh, point of view. It's funny. You'll find it, it depends, okay, obviously. But you'll find that it's anywhere between hundreds of thousands to million, a couple million years to do this. Water has to seep in and then it has to start crystallizing. And it takes a long time. This is not something that happens overnight. This is um, a geode and it's beautiful. Take a look at that. Beautiful crystals. So you ask any geologist, and they won't maybe necessarily commit to a date, but I'm sure that they would at least say 100,000 years. 
That's my guess. And if there's any geologists out there, you're welcome to comment to let us know what your expertise is saying as the modern geological age assignment that we're normally used to seeing. I've been saving this because, and we'll be doing more videos on this, but I want to show it to you this morning. I'll be taking better photography and videography on this live. It's not going to be as impressive, but this is another water pipe. This comes from out west in the United States. 200 degree water went through this and this resulted. That is beautiful. Now, do those crystals look any different than the stalactites and the stalagmites? Look at those things. This, this pipe was like this, the water running through it down here. Look at the drip, drip, drip above. And when I tell you how long this took to form, you guys got any ideas? And since we're on the live and there's and, and you guys can post or comment here, how long do you think it take, took, take, took to form this? Go ahead, put it up there because this is amazing. It can't be obviously more than a couple hundred years because we have an iron pipe here. Folks, it took six months to produce this. Six months. How long does it take to produce a geode? Am I being fair here? Some would suggest no. And I get it. The conditions between the two may be different, or they may be the same. We weren't around to see it formed. We weren't around to see how much heat, what kind of water produced this. We're only faced with this. That's it. But when we see this and we have a date stamp on it, then it allows us to be able to at least ask the re or re-ask the question, how long does rock take to form? I believe that the evidence is here and some of the other videos that we've shown, it doesn't take very long. I want to thank you for joining us this morning. Um, we're going to get going. Feel free to subscribe. You know, they always say subscribe to our, subscribe to our channel, but more importantly, get our newsletter at museumalerts.com because we're going to alert you every time we put a new piece of content out. And you're also going to get a cool report titled the three Top reasons why Noah's Ark must still exist. I'm John Adolfi with the Lost World Museum where we ask the important and provocative question, where did we come from? Apes, aliens, or Adam? And I hope this presentation sends you down that path, that, that journey that we're all taking together. And the path that uh, I believe will be life-changing for you is the one that you perhaps are at the crossroads right now and decide to at least explore it. Thank you very much. And I appreciate you guys being here today. We're going to sign off for right now. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving.